What is up Vapesters? Welcome back. I am Rob, the UK Vapester, and today we're going to be taking a look at Vape Tio's P2 starter kit. So as you can see, I got sent to a white one and a black one. The white one I'm going to be reviewing in this video and the black one we're going to give away in this video. So make sure to watch the whole thing to find out how to enter to win this for free. But for now, let's take a closer look at the packaging and show you guys everything you get when you buy this from new. Come in, come in. I can see you by the fire. Listen, listen. There's something I must confide. I know I said that it'd be fine. I know I made it look like it'd be alright. But I think I learned my lesson, and I'm not gonna let you out of my sight. You can call me killer Cause I'll bring you to the light And it might taste bitter When your rents are in to God You can call me killer As you look into my eyes Nothing but a sinner So guys, here is the tank, we're going to start the review at the top and work our way down. So starting at the top we have this removable drip tip ring, and sadly this is not a 510 connection, so this is the only drip tip you'll be able to use. It's a top fill tank and all you want to do is pinch the top and the base and twist. You'll see it come apart like so, and then we've got this plastic ring that stops any leakage, and all you want to do is get your bottle, force it through the plastic, and then fill this guy up. It holds two mils of juice to make it TPD compliant and the anti-leakage ring also makes it TPD compliant. Moving down we have these two rings. The first one is for juice flow control. So as you can see it's fully closed there and if we turn it it's fully open. And then the bottom one is of course airflow control so we can turn it so it's fully closed or we can adjust it and anything you adjust on this side will be mimicked on this side. And lastly at the bottom we have our 510 connection pin which is non-adjustable and clean threads. Here's a closer look at the pre-installed coil that comes with this tank. It reads at 0.15 ohms and this is the camphor one. You also get included a nickel one which reads at the same ohmage. And as you can see it's got four massive wicking holes, tons and tons of cotton. We've got a little spit back guard if you can see that around the edge. And that's pretty much it. And of course guys, here is the mod. We're going to start the review at the top and work our way down. So starting at the top we have a spring loaded 510 connection which is gold plated. Moving down we have our fire button, up button, down button, our lights to indicate what power wattage we're at, our USB charging port and that is pretty much it. The internal battery is a 1850 mAh battery and of course this is non-changeable because it's internal, it's built in. So to turn this guy on and off it's five clicks of the fire button so one, two, three, four, five it'll flash to indicate that it's on. And so if I go up, you can see that at, oh, round robins. If you go all the way to the top, that is five lights. And if we fire, it indicates it's got five lights. And that means it's at 75 watts. Four lights means 60. Three lights means 50. Two lights means 40. And one light means 30. So you can use this in temperature control mode. I don't necessarily recommend it because you don't actually have any gauge of what temperature it is. But if you wanted to, it's simply three clicks. So one, two, three. It'll indicate by a color at the bottom what type of material you can uh, vape in. And this is found in the manual. And then three clicks again to change it. One, two, three. You can only do nickel and titanium. So you've got red and green to indicate which one's which. And three clicks again. One, two, three. 
goes back into wattage mode. And you'll notice if I press fire, it indicates how many lights I've got for power. And if I let go, it indicates another indication. And that three lights means how much battery power is left. So when you, let's select five for instance, and then press fire, you'll see five lights are indicated. We let go, then it shows three. And that means my battery is halfway. And obviously that's how you gauge if you need to charge it or not. And then five clicks, turn it off. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, and that's it. So guys, vape time. We're gonna be vaping on the pre-installed coil that reads at 0 0.15 ohms. I've got it at three lights, which is 50 watts, and the airflow is fully open. Let's give this guy a vape. Okay, let's up it to about 60, which is four lights. And finally, we'll up it to 75, which is five lights. Okay, so as you can see, cloud production is pretty damn good and the flavor is pretty good as well. So when looking at this, I just thought this is a cheap Chinese tank um, and it's gonna be about average because when I vaped tanks similar to this, at least looking similar to this, they've been about average. And what I mean by that is with the liquid I put in there, I can taste a few of the ingredients and flavors, but not the whole liquid. With this, I would describe it as above average. It's actually a pretty damn good vape. Seriously, I've actually enjoyed this and I'm really surprised at how much flavor you do get from this tank and also the cloud production. Pretty good all round. And now guys, the sponsor and the cost. The sponsor of this video was these guys. So a massive thank you to Vapeteo for sending me this for a review. If you want to check out their website, social media, or of course, links to purchasing this, I will try and find where you can actually purchase this and I'll put links down below. And also, once again, a massive thank you for sending me a spare to give away. And for cost, I'm not sure. I've looked at a bunch of places and no one is selling this at the moment of recording this video. So when I do have an update, I of course will leave it in the description down below and the comment section. So make sure to check them if you want to find out a price. But as of now, I don't know. So guys, the giveaway. All you need to do is number one, be a subscriber. Number two, like this video. And number three, share this video on any social media you want. What would be really helpful is if you left a comment down below on where you shared it, what you said, and just generally your thoughts of this product because then I can see that you want to be part of the giveaway and you've met the requirements of the giveaway. So guys, that's it, good luck. And finally guys, pros, cons, and my final thoughts. Let's dive some cons. The main ones is just that it's basic. It's a basic kit. So it has five wattage modes, which is 30, 40, 50, 60, and 75. So obviously that is limiting to them five options. Um, it's really simple that it doesn't have a screen. It just has light indication. Uh, the tank is pretty simple as well. Nothing too fancy, to be honest. And yeah, it's just a basic design. It's got no wow factor at all. It's just an entry level sub ohm kit. And for what that is, it actually does that a good job. So I'm assuming that this will be an affordable price because of how basic it is. And if you are looking to get into sub ohm vaping, I think this is a perfect start because of the flavor I get from it. When I try these other kits, which I regard as starting kits, loads of kits call themselves starting kits, but I think they're more advanced ones, where this is a starting kit. And I think for what it is, it's a good one. It is basic, that means you can do less wrong for being a beginner, and also the flavor from it is really good, so I do think if you're starting out and wanna try sub ohm vaping, this will be a great start because you're gonna get great flavor. So the bad points, it's basic, it doesn't do a lot. The good points, if you are a beginner and that's all you need, this will do that and do a good job of it. So guys, that is the review. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.